Hey guys, I have good news. Um, well, this is a uh, this is fallen. I'm back. I'm gonna be coming back to YouTube. I'm actually really excited to be coming back. But instead of my usual gameplay of just Minecraft, I'm gonna be implementing other games that other people play a lot. I mean, it's gonna be a good change to the game. So um, keep a lookout. I'll show, I'm about to show you which games I plan on playing on, um, but of course, Minecraft will be one of those videos. The other game will be Creative Destruction. Now, I haven't really been playing this game as much. I mean, I'm not that good at it. Um, I do die a lot in this game, but I am willing to give it a try because it's, it's like Fortnite. I mean, it's... Almost like a mobile version of Fortnite for versions that can't support Fortnite. So, this is going to be one of the other games I'm going to be playing. I Like I said, I'm not good at it yet. Not like the other game I'm about to show you that I'm going to be doing. That one I am really good at. But this one, I am. So, look forward to seeing this game pop up on my YouTube channel as well. Alright, so, the other game, it's almost, it's almost like this, but you can't build stuff. You, you can't do all the building and stuff. But that other game is none other than good old PUBG. I mean, this game, this game I have gotten good at. I mean, uh, let's see if I can pull up my stats. I don't know where to pull up my stats. Maybe it's my profile? Mm. She, no, just it, there it is. See, I got a <laughs> death ratio. I have not yet died in this game, honestly. I haven't played two rounds and got two wins, but I haven't died. I've won both of those rounds. I think I'm pretty good because I came up with a strategy for when I'm doing teams. But this will be the other game I will be playing, and that's... I, I've already announced maybe three out of five games I'm going to be playing. There's two others. Um, one of them I don't think I can show just yet, but it's called World of Tank Blitz. That game I am excited to do. I'm already at, I believe I'm at tier three or tier four. I think I'm on tier four tanks, but I will be doing that game as well. But right now, I do need to update that game before I can pl uh, record on it. But that game will be coming soon to my YouTube channel. But the last game, it is a big, big maybe. And that game will be Rangers of Oblivion. This game I actually really do love to play. Um, I mean, I don't know if I'm actually going to do it. But I'm already almost level 70 on this game. I'm at level 65, and right now I'm waiting to get to level 70. So I don't know if I'll be doing, like, the story mode. I don't know if I'll be recording story mode for you guys, but maybe, maybe like, a few battles. If y'all, I don't know, if I play it for a while, you'll know the behemoths and stuff like that. But um, I'll actually show you the behemoths that there are, so... If you wanted me to record on here, you could suggest it. So, let's go ahead and skip this video. I am, of course, on the America server. You will be seeing it shoot me a friend request if you download this game. I do have a Legion, if y'all were to join. But we are looking... We I think we only have about five spots open. I'll have to look. But we need active players we we need those people that will stay active and those are that are let's get in here and i'll show y'all what i'm talking about now it's not compatible with all phones i've actually just got this phone off my brother so i mean it's it's a really good game really great storyline Awesome behemoths. I mean, some of them are creepy out, and some of them 
do cause lots of damage. I mean, it's not that bad. But there's my character, Viria. Kind of had to match my hairstyle. There's my horse. You do get to ride horses. You do get to ride mounts. Wait. Well, yeah, you do get to ride horses and you get saddles. That's pretty much the only mount you get. Um, I have to do my dailies today so I can level up. But, um, my stats are not that great. Apparently, according to my Legion mate on here. Um, yeah, I'm working on that, though, because I'm switching from the... What was it? Abomination and Chimera armor to full Sapphros. And I know y'all don't know about as far as those names go, so I'm going to show you. Now, it isn't going to show you the actual color. But, this characters. So, you got Iron Right On. Well, Right On, then Iron Right On. Okay. They're pretty much the same thing, just one has a cannon on his back. And you got Croaker and Magma Croaker. One is poison, one is fire. Okay, you got King, which, oh god, I hate King. I mean, he's not that, he's not hard, but his other half is Miasma King. It is a poison gorilla. It literally will beat poison into you. And then you got Manted, which I think looks like Scyther for Pokemon. I mean, it looks just like him. Because it, it has the exact look and design of Scyther. And you got this guy, Hive Manted. Which I think is more of an Earth type one. Just like this one. This one is an Ice type. The Mamex, which you'll find them in like a... What was it called? Knight's Hold. Which you'll be making a visit to that in the in the game. And then you got Cursed Mimics. They look the same. I know. But one is Earth. One of them sling snow. One of them one of them will sling dirt balls at you. You got Howler. You got Ice Howler. Both of them spawn in the same area. Well, same not same area, just same part of the map type thing. Like, they both go, you go, you go to Knight's Hole to fight those. And you got Scorpid and Venomous Scorpid. There are Telsons right there on the back. You know, those things that they sting you with. Those are like fire and ice. This, the regular Scorpid has like, um, when he swings his Telsons around, Think he freezes you with it or just causes really bad damage. This one will poison you when he does that. Now, the next one is the centaur. What, what the story will tell you is it's an orc that shoves a wild soul into its chest and it mutates into this. Its weapon will bind with its body. So... Its hand is now its weapon. And then you got its other half, the Crag Centaur, which is hard. It's, I, don't, I don't like fighting the Crag Centaur. Just like with Abomination and Dread Abomination. They do look the same. Except this one, the Dread Abomination, the head, the horns on its head are bigger. And then you got Gollum, which is pretty much, you know stone and he does do lightning he's a lightning attack power so with your weapons and stuff it's very important i look i learned this from my legion mate which i don't know if he'll be doing you these videos with me but when you make your gear make gear that will counter attack on these behemoths with they like with the, like their specialty so, like, if you see, the status weak is stun and paralyze. So, you got Gollum. You got Clockwork. I've, I've farmed this guy before. He's just a bunch of metal gears, and he controls time, pretty much. 
Now this next one, Draken, Draken or whatever, I don't know how to pronounce it. He's not easy. I mean, once you level up further, he'll get easier. But he does have this attack where he where he will lift up, flap his wings, and it'll draw you towards towards him. And if you're close enough, when he drops down, he electrocutes you. So you got to be careful with that. Now Chimera, I have part of its, I have part of its uh armor. It is literally so many types that it's gonna be hard to counterattack with certain gear to fight him, because he is frost, fire, lightning, and poison. He's a dragon, which can control fire and lightning, and then he has. His um snake on his tail that has poison. And I don't know where the frost comes from, honest, honestly, but I do know he's in nice hold, Night's Hold, and that's where the snow is. Now, Rock it is a very ugly behemoth, honestly. I don't like fighting him. I've only r really ever fought him once unless I go into a Lost Isle. And you got Sapphros. I'm farming this one right now. It is a very... Beautiful behemoth, but it is a very strong one, too. It is not easy to kill. This one right here, Dracolix, he is a very fast behemoth. It is going to be hard to hit him, especially if you use a melee weapon. And I think that's all I have. But I, I'm a melee weapon right now. But with where I'm transitioning into a new armor... I have like three different armors on right now because I got my Abomination, I got my Sapphros, and then I got my Chimera. But soon I'm going to be all Sapphros, which I actually really love the Sapphros armor. I'm going to go to Brock here and show you the Sapphros. As soon as he can pop up. There he goes. You got all these weapons. Um, I don't really want to collect all the weapons. So you got tribal longbow. And you go all the way down. These are all your weapons. Um, highest right now I can get is level 50. Until I reach level 70. Show you all these longbows that I use. And um, these are just normal types. You got great swords. You got lances. You got twin blades, which twin blades are my favorite melee weapons. They they deal fast attack damage, so you'll deal a lot more damage faster than your everyone else. But these are your these are your twin blades. You got your staff, which is like, it's pretty much magic. That's, it's what I associate it with. It's magic. Then you got your armored gauntlet. First companion in the game will have these gauntlets. I can't remember which one he has. I think it's the barbarian ones. Yeah, he has these ones. But, wow. Well, as far as fire type, you got crimson, flame, flame tip, ice piercer, snow chaser, and frozen. That's for your frost types. For your po lightning types, you got crackling. This is the one I have, the thunderous longbow. You got your ancient, poison, you got your death stalker. Death Seeker, and of course you're poisonous. These are your status ones. The bow Verminous, that is a big bow, wow. Howling Fang, I haven't seen these ones yet, so. Oculi and Woodland. Now I'm going to go ahead and scroll through the other ones so y'all can see what they have for those. These are your Fire types for the Great Sword. Your Lance. 
with twin blades. Your staff. And your armored gauntlets. I like these. I like the ones that glow. I really do. Now, for your frost types, here's your great swords, your lance, your twin blades, your staff. And your armored gauntlets. For lightning, let's see. You get your golden, thun uh, thunderous, ancient, and here's your lances. Twin blades. Your staff. And, of course, your armored gauntlets. Alright, here's your poison types for uh, greatsword. Your lance. As soon as I can load. Your twin blades. Your staff. The gauntlets. And then the last ones you got your stat for your status. The great swords. Your lance. Twin blades. Your staff. And your armored gauntlets. Now that's all the weapons that you can get up to level 50. I haven't really patched past level six, the 60s. I had to reach level 70 right now, which, like I said, I'm only at 65. But here's your armor. Like, I, I've already fought a lot, but your basics are your right on. These are the girls. I can't show the guy ones, so I'm sorry, guys. But here's your basic right on, basic croaker, basic king, and basic manted. For your giants, you got your right on, croaker, king, manted, mimics, howler, and Scorpion. Now my sec the second armor I ever had was the Mamex. I actually wanted to get the Scorpion at one point, but I didn't. Now for your mu mutated, you got Centaur, which I don't really like that one. That one just doesn't sit well with me. You got your Abomination, which is part of the one I'm wearing right now. You got your Golem. I was gonna get that, but I decided not to. The Clockwork, I had that one. And your Chimera, which I have part of. And then your Dragon, you got your Draken. Which I actually wanted to get, but I decided not to get that as well. You got your Sapphros, which is the one I'm working on right now. I love this one. This one's beautiful. You got your Dracolic. Now, I thought about getting that one too. <laughs> I, just, I decided not to. But that's pretty much all your equipment that you can get you got so many stuff you can do this do on this game now there is no pvp it's mo more just pve but it's still a really good game it's it, it's one of those that keeps you on one or more pretty much it's always updating it just got out of beta and so that means that actually means that there are going to be more people playing this game. And also you are able to farm, which I do have a farm going. But I also do have my companions. These are all the companions I have. There's Hendrick, 
Edith. This this is your first the first union you'll have. And you got Edith, Hatchet. Yes, he's a talking dog. Dagon Arian. Edgard, Cedric, Balin, and the one I just unlocked. These Balin and Diana and Cedric are the ones I just unlocked. But my favorite will always be Nadia. She's my highest level. She does she of course she has the twin blades. I mean so she does really fast attacks. I mean she's really good. She's already got her talents. So I'm actually looking forward to using her more. And I also got my stables and my horses. You can go and tame horses on here, which is actually pretty fun to do. And you can also breed them. But if you want to join my legion, this is the legion I have. I see we already have one person online. And it looks like we have five open spots. So let's check it out. Let's see, you got three, three, one, two, three. You have to be active for seven days. Okay, good. She's been playing. But yeah, that's actually pretty much it. These are my wild souls. They're not really, they're pretty good wild souls. Because this is, this is the one I have active right now. This is, these are the ones that I have in my armor. I think that's all the ones I have in my armor. And these are the ones I don't have being used right now. I've actually used her and him before. This one's a new one to me. Some of them actually just leveled up. I obviously I mean they're all almost fully leveled up. But yeah, that's actually pretty much it for this. It's like I said, you should check it out. I will be doing my, I might be doing some YouTube videos on here for the behemoths, just doing behemoth battles. And yeah, y'all should just keep an eye out for anything on here. I'm looking forward to playing and recording and all that good stuff. Just, if you enjoyed this video, if you're looking forward to my videos coming back, I'm excited for that. You know that. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe, give me suggestions. I mean, I mean, I can't get Fortnite on this phone, but give me suggestions as to what other games you would like me like to see me play. Like, there's this one game I've seen an ad for called uh, Last Life or something like that. It's a zombie game, zombie shooting game, so I might be checking that out as well. So, yeah, just keep an eye out for any videos. Hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. I will see you next time, guys. Goodbye.